Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. My name is Wendy Wright, and I am a dual certified adult and family nurse practitioner and the owner of two primary care offices, Wright and Associates Family Health Care in Amherst and Concord, New Hampshire. And I want to speak with you today about fibromyalgia. The first message I'd like to leave you with is that these patients are often very tough to treat. As you know, they are more frequently women, they have a multitude of complaints, and they've often and seen a number of health care providers. If you are going to optimize their care, it is important that you remember it's going to require multimodal therapy to address their symptoms of cognitive impairment, sleep deficit, as well as their chronic pain. My second takeaway message to you is to improve these people's health care. One of the best things we can do is actually give them the diagnosis because it really does legitimize for them that this is truly a condition that warrants our attention. But most importantly, you need to address their sleep. I will frequently use agents such as melatonin, I'll use trazodone, or even sometimes the hypnotics in an attempt to treat these patients and to allow them to sleep better and wake up feeling more refreshed. The last takeaway message from this lecture, and I mentioned this previously, is that it's going to require multimodal therapy. Perhaps the best evidence for medication management of patients with fibromyalgia is in the following classes of medications. I frequently will use tricyclic antidepressants dosed at bedtime, not only to help their sleep, but also in term, terms of their serotonergic and norepinephrine effect. Number two, I'll use antiepileptics, drugs like gabapentin, toparamate, and also pregabalin. Those three agents have probably had the best studies conducted on them and have the best evidence. I also use medications such as the newest medication called memantine. There was recently a study that came out that showed that 20 milligrams of memantine, when compared to placebo, did show improvement in both cognitive changes as well as sleep efficacy, quality of life, and a reduction in their pain. Last but not least are the SNRIs, many of which contain an indication, drugs like duloxetine and other drugs that are available to us, such as venlafaxine, which help with that norepinephrine blockade and help to reduce patients' pain. So in, over the last three minutes, I hope what I've done for you is given you three really important takeaway messages in terms of the management of the patient with fibromyalgia.